Uh, so I want to do this video on Costa sunglasses. I got two pairs of Costa permits right here. I got the green the green lens, which is highly recommended for Tampa Bay waters. This is Tampa Bay right here. Um, it's not Tampa Bay's around the corner there. It's uh, I'd say it's you know quarter quarter mile maybe from here. Water's very clear. You can look directly. No, this is no sunglasses. And I'll show you this vision a couple times right here. This is off my dock, but we're looking straight down here, about two and a half feet of water. And if we go over there, you're probably looking at more like three, three and a half as it goes down towards about four feet under the dock there. So pretty clear water. Um, again, uh, I'm going to show you now, <clears throat> first of all, with the blue lens, and then second of all, with the green lens. And we'll try and kind of sell this out so you see which ones it is. The green lens comes highly recommended for these waters. They say the yellow cuts the, the yellow hue in the water. I sort of agree with it. I, th I do think the green lenses uh, are better in my opinion, but we'll, we'll let this speak for itself through do this video here so i'll do my best to put the phone up to it again we're looking in the water here this is us looking in the water still pretty clear without any sunglasses on now what we'll do is put the green lens up first again these are costa 580g they're both the glass lens the hiring lens and the permit model which the model doesn't really matter if you're just looking at the lens here now i'm going to focus right there in the center you see that there's kind of some kind of oyster bed or something like that that you're probably not gonna be able to see too well when I move the sunglasses and, and now you start to see where these sunglasses help cut the water a little bit. You can still see, but not quite as clear. If that was a fish, you'd probably have a hard time seeing it. Now this is <clears throat> with the green lens still. Again, that's about what we're looking at is about three feet of water, relatively clear water. Now we're looking at about two and a half feet. And now we're going down to probably a foot and a half and then into the mangroves gets, gets low all the way till it's dirt. So <clears throat> you can see the bottom really well with these green lenses. I think they do a great job. And now we'll look at through the blue lenses here. Here come the blue lens. These are the 580G blue lenses here. Again, you can see that oyster bed structure that I was talking about a minute ago. Go a little deeper here. Not bad on the blue lenses, honestly, but I don't think they cut quite as well. You be the you be the judge. Um, I do think the green is better for this type of water, but it's not the end of the world if you're wearing a pair of blues. It's not like you can't hang out with the cool kids still. That's the blue one more time. Here's the green. Just kind of get that loaded up a little bit better. There we go. See pretty far. That's without them. There's the blue. Get that better. All right, so there you have it. You be the judge. That's two and a half feet of water right there. And that's about three, three and a half feet of water. It goes, goes about four feet under the dock, maybe four and a half in the middle. You can't see that with the blue. I don't think you can see much with your bare eyes. And with the green, you still can't see anything because it's just too far. But you can see pretty darn close to the, where those oyster beds go into the dock. Um, about center where this camera is at, you can still see oyster beds right up in there. With the with the green which i don't think the blue is showing those quite as well and this is the blue again right here and again you can still see it pretty good like i said you can still hang out with the cool kids if you have the blue pair i just think they're slightly inferior to the green as recommended i'm sorry if you're getting a little bit of glare but there you go costas 580 g's they're both 580 g's you can see right there on the lens 580G, and these are 580G as well. I will say the green ones are probably a lot dirtier. Wherever they write them on the green ones here, they're probably wiped off by now. It's an old pair, but they're both 580G, not the plastics. And again, it's the green, which is recommended for these types of water, versus the blue, which are recommended for deep water.